Last time I visited the Blue Moon, the vibe was on, and the crowd were having fun. Today is a different picture, since we live in COVID times. And like many bars, this classic spot was ordered to close. How hard is it not to see this place packed? It's terrifying because loving this place and the people who come here are, are the only things that I'm really good at. My father bought it in 82. My folks raised me to take over the bar. The Blue Moon is my life, really. We need to keep paying for our electricity and our water. We have to keep paying our rent. Emma's fight to keep the Blue Moon open is part of a new docu-series. This past summer, PBS's American Portrait series reached out to me to do a documentary on the tradition of the Blue Moon in Seattle and in my life. It looks like I'm going to need $40,000 to make it through the rest of the year. It's a beautiful documentary series that's super well done, is there to remind people of who America really is. Here in New Orleans, Louisiana. Downtown in Minneapolis. Here in Decatur, Georgia. Our traditions and our values and our ancestry are all really important. The Blue Moon's a great representative of that because it is a place for all walks of life. I'm really paranoid about somebody buying the bar and changing it. I want them to come away from seeing the American portrait just thinking about importance of tolerance and kindness. Sort of find the Blue Moon in your heart and know that we'll all get to be here again someday. And when it opens, how big of a party is going to be? I really hope that when we open, we can all just like make out. <laughs> Better days will come for the blue moon. And for sure, more memories will be made.